Good evening. Good evening, Maria del Rosario. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good evening, Ricardo. Oh, yes. Good night, you? Nice to meet you. Good. Nice to meet you, too. I'm glad to hear that. Good evening, Isaac. Good evening, hi. How are you? How are you? I'm pretty fine. And you? Very, very fine. All right. And dances with the star in the class. Oh, that's nice. Okay, excellent. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. And good evening, Mauricio. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. And you? Great. I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Good evening, Maria del Rosario. Good evening, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you? I'm very fine. Very good. I... Yeah, already this class. That's nice. Excellent. Yes. Good evening, Dennis William. Good night, teacher. How are you? Very fine. And you? Doing pretty well. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, teacher. Thank you. Good evening, Catherine Rodriguez. Hi, good night, everyone. How are you, Katherine? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Good evening, Gloria Avendaño. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. And you, teacher? I'm doing pretty well, thanks. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Good evening, Doris Aime. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing pretty well, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. Good evening, Brenda Calderon. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm doing pretty well, thanks. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Good evening, Miguel Angel. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, well. It's nice to meet you. Good evening, Alma Joana. Hello, teacher. How are you? Nice, thank you. Okay, excellent. It's nice to meet you. All right, um, Jose nice Angel. Nice to meet you too, teacher. Thank you, Alma. Jose Angel, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are nice, you? Nice, teacher. 
Okay, nice. excellent. That's great. Mm -hmm. It's nice to meet you. Thanks. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. Okay, I think I have said hi to everybody. So let's see. Um, well, welcome to our class. Let me just let me just open our presentation over here. So meanwhile, let me ask you about the platform. Have you been able to enter to the platform? Let's see, Isaac, were you able to enter to the platform? Turn on your microphone, please. Oh, sorry. I can be problem in this connection with my house if the rest oh. of my, my computer. Okay. All right, so you have not entered to the platform yet. Right, okay. okay. Don't worry, it's fine. Just try to enter maybe today or tomorrow. And well, just to check that everything's fine, right? You have access and everything. Um, okay, how about Ana Palma? Have you been able to enter to the platform? Ana Palma? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? In the moment, I'm fine. Thank you. Great. Tell me about the platform. Not yet, uh, but okay. in the moment, I, I put on the, the PC. Okay. All right. Just try. Mauricio Stanley, have you been able to enter to the platform? And I will know. Not yet. Okay. That's right. Then Ricardo Acosta, how about you? Hello, teacher. Uh, about the, the platform? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I finished the the first the first episode. Uh, it's about the simple pass. Yes. The simple pass with bird to be. Exactly. Yeah, yes, right. I, I I understand. You've been working. All right, that's yes, nice. Yes. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay. okay. Emma, have you been able to enter to the platform? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. And Jose Angel? Jose Angel, have you been able to enter to the platform? Yes. Okay. Yes, nice. nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Doris, have you been able to register in the platform? Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. Gloria Vendaño, how about you? Yes, teacher. You're in. Okay. Katherine, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, have you been able to register in the platform? Yes. Okay, you have. Nice. And let's see who's missing. Dennis, have you been able to register in the platform? Dennis, William? Hi, teacher. Have you been able to register in the platform? How long a minute? I I don't I can hear you. Oh, Hold I'm on. asking you about the platform. Have you been able to enter to it? Oh yes, yes, okay. yes, teacher. All right, teacher, very good. Teacher, one question. Yes, tell me. In the 
in the me I email is Ingrid, but it's my password is it's not active in the the platform. Oh, you cannot get in the platform well maybe tomorrow you could ask the people well the, the technicians they're in our group they are um, jason and jonathan so maybe you can look for the contacts and just um text them they're okay. going to help you okay okay thank you Tish. all right miguel angel have you been able to register in the platform no yet not yet okay no. And Marlon Rodriguez, how about you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good yes. Evening. You are in, okay? Nice. Yes. Carmina, have you been able to register in the platform? Hello, teacher. Hello. Excuse me, I can listen to you. Yes, I'm asking you about the platform. Have you been able to enter to it? Yes. Okay, nice. And Ruth, have you been able to access the platform? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good yes, evening. I, can. I have no problem. All right, very good. Alma Joana, have you been able to access it? Not yet, teacher. Not yet. Okay, and Brenda Calderon? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, so please, if you have not registered in the platform yet, um, try to do it either tonight or tomorrow. And in case you have any trouble, um, please contact Jason or Jonathan. They are in our WhatsApp group, so just uh, look for the contacts over there. Okay, so welcome everybody to our class. This is Intermedio module number one, intermediate module number one. And first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Liliana Mendoza Axume. You could call me teacher Liliana or teacher Lily, Miss Lily, just the way you'd like to. And um, about myself, I can tell you I'm a BA in teaching English as a second language. I have around five years of experience. I've been working with different levels, different people, different ages. And well, that's pretty much it. So I'm glad to be here with you. I hope everybody learns a bit in this course. So I'm here to help you with anything you need. And well, now let's talk a little bit about the class requirements. I believe you already know about this. Let's just remember about it. So first of all, let me tell you, you have to register in each of the sessions using your full name, right? Or at least a name in a last name, please. And if by any chance you need to change your name, remember you have to go to participants. Then you go, you go and look for your name. Once you get to your name, you get to the option more or must. And after that, you have the option rename. There you change your name if in any case you need to do it. Then about the use of the microphone. So um, it's important to use it, to practice pronunciation, to participate and all of that. But I'll ask you to keep it in silence in the times you are not and participating because of the background sound, right? So please try to keep it in silence when you are not using it, just to avoid um, the noise. Then the video camera, remember it's important to turn it on if you can, because it's better for the interaction. Right? Um, can you please turn up your microphone? Y si le pregunta que tiene dos empleadas, dos empleados, que sería. Ok, so there we are. Uh, so I was telling you about the video camera. If by any chance you have a, well, a problem or any inconvenience with the camera, it's okay not to turn it on. But if you have a camera and you're okay with turning it on, 
it would be nice because we could see each other and the interaction gets better, right? So please keep that in mind. Then um, let me tell you about the class videos. Um, as you may know, they are available the next day after the class. So um, for example, today's class is going to be available in YouTube tomorrow. Just in case you miss the class, you can go to the video and watch it. And we already talked about the registration in the English Corporativos platform and almost all of you have done it. And for the ones who haven't done it, please do it either today or tomorrow. And remember that you have to do your best to complete the lessons in the platform because this course depends on that. So it's important to come to the sessions, to the classes, the conferences. But um, the most important thing is to complete the work in the platform because that is the work that is going to be graded or evaluated. So um, remember that we have two weeks to complete the first th three sections. So this week and next week, we are just completing section one, two, and three. Then we are going to have week number three to complete section four. And week number five is to complete section five. If you can do it faster than that, that would be great. So just keep on working in the platform. Remember that the least you have to get is the 80% of the work. So please keep that in mind. And also let me remind you about the dates of the course. So we're starting today which is uh, November 25th. And the last date or the finish date for the course is going to be December the 17th. So um, it doesn't matter if we have a different date over here in the platform, it says December 20, uh, 26th, but the real date is December the 17th. So um, we are only going to take into account all the work you have done in the platform until that date, December the 17th. Eh, creo que eso ya deben manejarlo ustedes. Siempre en plataforma aparece una fecha después del, de la finalización del curso. En realidad terminamos el curso el 17 de diciembre. Acá nos aparece el 26. Sin embargo, esto es por razones de administrativas, luego nos quedamos revisando el trabajo, poniendo notas y todo eso. Entonces es por eso que lo reflejamos de esta manera. Sin embargo, el curso termina el 17. Así que se le tomará en cuenta el trabajo que haga hasta el 17 a la medianoche. Desde entonces cerramos plataforma y ya no podríamos tomar en cuenta nada que se haga después de eso. So please keep that on keep that in mind and um, oh also about the dates for the the dates for the the conferences normally we have classes from monday to thursday but in this case because it's the last course of the year we are taking classes on on two fridays so that is going to be this friday that is november 27th and next Friday, November, the, I mean, December the 4th. So this week we have three classes from Wednesday to Friday. And next week we are having five classes from Monday to Friday, okay? So just keep that in mind. And uh, well, do we have any questions, any doubts? So far so good. Any questions? No teacher. Okay. No teacher. And then also let me tell you, I'm talking to you in English only because you are intermediate already, right? So we need to practice. We need to keep uh, in, in touch with the language and try to speak and everything. But if by any chance you need me to repeat something, just ask me to do it, okay? If you didn't understand something, just ask me about it. If you need me to speak in Spanish, that could be an option too. So just tell me, right? Don't feel, don't be shy. Just go ahead and ask me to repeat or to, to, to talk in Spanish or anything. 
to explain again. I'm here to help. Okay, so having said all of this, we are going to start with our class. So let's talk about our first lesson objective. It says, by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was and where in various regular and irregular verbs. Example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. So as one of you mentioned, we are going to talk about the past. And I know you have already um, studied the past for regular verbs, irregular verbs, the past of be, right? Now we are going to mix them all. We're going to use them all together. And um, well, <laughs> the aim of this or the objective is that we talk about the past experiences or our background experiences um, in the right way, right? So first of all, let's listen to the video. And let's see. Okay, let me play the video for you. I need you to pay attention. To talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, is slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I had to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I will be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens 
at the bottom I want you to notice that we have a subject and I color that in green and then we have some sort of verb and then that is going to be colored in red and then the complement um, as you can see English classes for a year. Okay so as you see we're going to study the past in all its forms. So um, we have first of all the past of B then we're going to review the regular verbs past. And we are also going to talk about the past for the irregular verbs, right? So first of all, uh, what's the past of B? Tell me. What, what? We have two different forms, was and where, right? So we got was and where. Was is used with the subjects I, she and is then you is used with where, right? I say I was, you were, you. he was, she, she was, she. and it was. And then I have we were and they were. So you see, I say I, he, and she, she and it was. And you, we, and they were. So please repeat. I was. I was. I was. He was. He was. She was. She was. He was. It was. It was. You were. You were. We were. We were. We were. They were. They were. They were. Okay, so here I have some examples of the sentences with the past of B. So first of all, you need a subject, then you use was or were, and then you use a complement. And you have sentences like, I was very happy. She was a doctor. They were married for five years. Can you make another example? Let's see, anybody? It was, was like very exciting. I was very excited. I was very excited. Mm -hmm. Any other? He was a uh, work. He working. was. He was working. Okay, you already know the the past continuous. Tell me another one, please. We were playing soccer. Play soccer. We were playing soccer. Okay. Any other? Mm -hmm. Tell me another. To watch. To watch what TV. <laughs> She was watching TV. All right, pretty good. That's the way we use the simple past for the verb be, right? Very simple, very easy. We got a subject, then was and where, then a complement, and we also have this kind of past continuous that we use with the verbs in ing. So now let's practice by unscrambling some sentences. So the first one, can somebody tell me what the sentence is? I was at the school. I was at school, exactly. Very good, next one, number two. You were thirsty and no, you were hungry and thirsty. Okay, we say you were hungry and thirsty. Number three, let's see. Um, Jose Angel, can you give it a try? Uh, you were sad. No, you were very sad. 
you were very sad. Thank you. Next one, Maria del Rosario. Okay. Marlene. Marlene was at the hospital. Martin was at the hospital. Martin, Marlene. <laughs> Thank you. Number five is for Ricardo Acosta. I'm sorry, repeat, teacher. Yes, can you unscramble the sentence? The last, the, I mean, number five. Uh, the last one? Yep. Uh, we were tired. We were, and how about the word pretty? Pretty we tired. Pretty tired. Thank you. Next one, Dennis William. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. My family, oh, I and my family were in Paris. All right, yes, that we say my family and I, right? My family and I were in Paris. Okay. Thank you. Next one, I cannot see your name, Fabricio. Uh, uh, mm. Day, ahí uh, es day, sí. Uh, o es, que tiene dos de, de. Yeah, we need two. Uh -huh. Day, where? Um, uh, no, we do not have any no. day. It's the. Uh -huh. uh, the kill square. Kill square. Kill square. The kill square at cinema. At the cinema. Thank you. Next one. Let's see. Gloria Vendaño. Okay, uh, I it day it uh, it day was a, a running. Um, it was we start continue a rainy day. Day a day a raining. Okay, we say it was a rainy day. Okay. It was a rainy day. All right, number nine is for Catherine. Catherine Rodriguez, are you there? Yes. Picasso was a Spanish painter. Spanish painter, that's right. Thank you. And the last one is for Miguel Angel. I can see. Oh. Oh, okay. My my grandfather was a pilot. My grandfather was a pilot. That's right. Okay. Very well. That's the way we use was and were in sentences, right? And now let's talk a little bit about the simple past for the regular verbs. So what do you remember about that? What do we do with the regular verbs in the simple past? Wash it. Okay, so what do I need to add? ED. ED, exactly. 
So from what we go to watched. 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 Mm -hmm. That watched. means we only need to add ED. Then what happens in the case of exercise? Exercises? Exercise. Exercised. So we add D, right? Most of the verbs take ED, but in the case of verbs that end in E, we only add D. As in exercise, exercised. What do we have for study? Study. Um, study. study. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do I need to change? The Y part. E -I -D. E -I -D. E -I -D. I -E -D. Exactly, I E D. Studied. So I drop the Y and then I add I E D. Next one is stay. Stay. Okay, so in the past it becomes stayed. 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 And notice that here um, both of the words study and stay and in Y. But um, in the first one study, we have a combination of a consonant plus Y. And in the case of state, we have a vowel plus Y. That's why uh, we do not change the verb stay. We only add ED, right? Then we got the verb shop. It becomes? Shop. 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 So we say watched, exercised, studied, stayed, and shopped. Now it's your turn to repeat. Watched. Watch. Watched. 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 What? Exercised. Exercised. Studied. 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 Stayed. 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 Shopped. Sure. Okay. All right. So now here I have a list of verbs that I want you to change to the past form. So let me send a picture of the list to the to the WhatsApp group. And let me send you um, for a little while to the breakout rooms. I want you to work in pairs or trios. And you're going to just change the verbs to the past. Walk, what? If you could take note of the, of the verbs, if you could write them down, that would be great. So you go practicing like walk, walked, cook, cooked, visit, visited, and so on. That's what I want you to do. So let me send you a picture to the WhatsApp group. And I'm sending you to the breakout rooms right now. There we are.
Hello, guys. Hello. Have you started working? Not yet. Okay. Hello. Hola, hola. Hola, comenzamos. Yes. Okay, the first is walked, right? Yes. The second, cooked. Cooked. Uh, is cooked? No, it's cooked. Cooked. That yes. The right pronunciation. But you write cooked and you pronounce cooked. Exactly. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. You're right. Okay. Visited. Started. And then it's finished. How many um Words can do each one. Ok, lo vamos repitiendo si quieres todos. Ok, he pasado ya. Aquí alguien, bueno, voy a empezar yo. Walk. Walk. Alguien, alguien walk. Que, que diga la segunda, la tercera, así nos vamos turnando. Walk. Ok. Cook. Visit. Visit. It. This is start. Uh, finish. Live. Live. Like. Love. All right. Dance. Crying. Try. Try. Vaya, compañero. Pero él de carry. Carry. No, carry. Pero él de play. Carry. Play. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay. Stop. Plan. Prefer. Yo. Stop, creo que es con ED al final, pero no sé si agrega otra P. Yes, you double the P. Stop. 
¿verdad? Yes. O, solo se le agregaría la, la, quedaría igual solo la P que se le agrega. Double P and you add ED. ED. Mm -hmm. e ah, ok. So, ¿Cómo lo pronuncia, teacher? Stopped. Stop. Stop. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah. Eh, ahí está. Pienso que sería. No, no puede ser ED. Plan. Y es start it. Oh, sí, start it. Start it. Start it. Uh -huh. Finish, finish. No, uh -huh. finish it. Finish it. Mm -hmm. Live. Como. Live. Clothes, no, closed. Con de verdad, closed. Ajá, ajá, exacto. Es que como que la E pierde, soni pierde sonido uh -huh. y se le da más a la consonante. Ahí. All right, all right. All right, ajá, all right. Dance, dance, no, dance. Ajá, es, es dance. Dance. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dance. Ah, okay. Dance. Okay, it's Hello, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. I finished. You finished. Okay. Yes. Nice. So we're getting back in a couple of seconds. Do we have any questions? Any doubts? No, teacher. No? No, okay. teacher. No. All right. Very well. So let's get back. Okay, so let's check the verbs. So we have um, walk, walked. We only add ed. For cook, what do we add? E cooked. E e cooked, only ed. Then we have visit, which becomes ed. 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 You add ed. So it becomes visited. visited. Then we have start, which becomes started. Started. Okay, how about finish? What's the past? ED. ED. ED again, finished. Live. Just D. D. Just D, yes. It becomes lived. Like, like only D, only D, and we pronounce it liked. Close, like. D. closed, arrived, 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 arrived. 
danced, 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 cried, 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 carry, 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 Played. 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 Enjoy. Enjoyed. 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 Stay. 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 Stop. 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 Double P, right? Yeah. Stop. Plan. Plan it. Planned. Planned. Double N. Double N. Okay, right. Okay, then we have prefer, which becomes prefer. Right. Preferred. Here we double the R. And Preferred. in the last one, jog, jogged, we also double the last consonant. Jog. Jog. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. So let's practice pronunciation. Please repeat what. What? Walked. 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 Cooked. 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 Be seated. Be seated. Be seated. Started. 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 Finished. Finished. Lived. Lived. Light. 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 Closed. Close. Close. Arrived. 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 Danced. Danced. Cried. 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 Tried. 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 Carried. Carried. Played. 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 Enjoyed. 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 Stayed. Stopped. 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 Planned. 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 Preferred. 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 Jogged. 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 Okay. So now let's just remember about the simple past in the affirmative sentences. So here we have an example in the simple present. I work every day. And remember that in the simple present, we change the verb for the third person for he, she, it. So it will become she works every day. If we use the subject she. And then in the past, um, we need to change the verb for worked, right? So we say, I worked hard last week. And the good news is that it doesn't change for the other subjects. So you use it the same for all the subjects. It doesn't matter if they are first, second, or third person. So you say, I worked hard last week and she worked hard last week. So as you see, we use worked for both I and she. And then the structure to follow is subject, then verb in ED, and then the complement. Here I have an example. We wanted some French fries. He washed the dishes last night and you arrived at eight. That's the way you use the simple past for the regular verbs in the affirmative form. The dish last night. I arrived at eight. Okay, so maybe you want to repeat, so. Go ahead. Let's say we wanted some French fries. We wanted, we wanted some, fries. some French so fries. fries. He washed the dishes last night. He washed, he washed the, the dishes, dishes last, last night. night. You arrived at eight. You arrived, arrived at eight. eight. Okay, say wanted. Wanted. Watched. What? Arrived. 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 Okay, 
So now in order to practice, I'm going to ask you to make some sentences using the verbs we have here in this list. So I want you to open the chat, please. Everybody open the chat. And we're going to just type a couple of sentences. For example, um, let me start with Doris. Doris, can you make a sentence in the past using the verb walk? I walk in the park with my friend. Okay, very good. Can you type it in the chat, please? Yes, right now. Okay. And meanwhile, let me ask Brenda Cardelon to make a sentence using cook. To cook up the, the kitchen. She huh? cooked the... Again, Brenda? The cookie. The cookie. Is that what you said? Okay, Brenda, just type it in the chat, please. Then Ruth Rodriguez, make a sentence using visit. Denise Manzano, can you make a sentence using start, please? I visit my family last weekend. Okay. So please type it in the chat. Okay. Thank you. And Dennis, we're waiting for yours. You're using start. Ana Palma, you make a sentence using live. And Fabricio, make one using like. And Dennis William, your verb is close. Hola, hola. Ah. Yes. So we got Doris example. I walked in the park with my friend. Brenda says she cooked the cookies. Okay. Fabricio, I liked dinner yesterday. Very good. Next one. Ruth, I visited my family last week. And Dennis Manzano, I started a new job last year. Okay. All right, Maria del Rosario, make a sentence using arrive. Isaac, you make one using dance. Mauricio, your verb is cry. So we have Dennis Williams says they closed the skate, the skate park last month. Very well. Okay, we got another example from Isaac, I danced with my wife. Ana Palma says, I lived in San Salvador last year. Excellent. Mauricio Stanley, can you make a sentence using try? Katherine Rodriguez, your verb is play. Okay, Maria del Rosario, we arrived at the beach last week. All right. Emma Orozco, can you make a sentence you've seen enjoy? And Doris Aime, you make one using stay. Daisy, your verb is stop. 
Okay, so here we got some other examples. Mauricio says, my daughter cried in the afternoon. Okay. Catherine says, I played soccer with my husband yesterday at night. Great. Mm -hmm. Emma says, I enjoyed the basketball game last night. In DC, I stopped buying a burger. Okay, you say I stopped buying burgers because you're talking in a general sense. Very good. All right, so we are going to stop over here. Thank you very much for participating in the class. Um, it's nice to meet you all. I hope to see you tomorrow in the session, right? So take care, have a good okay. night. Okay, good night, teacher. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, good, good night, night. Good night. Bye. Bye, everybody. Uh, good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah. See you, teacher. Bye-bye.